hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will learn about interwheel and routing using router on a stick where we use only one interface of router and we will create the sub interface of router for each vlan using this interface g000 we will create sub three sub interface of router of this interface for each vlan in previous video we learn about uh, uh, inter VLAN routing using multi arm where we use separate interface G00 for VLAN uh, 10 and G001 for VLAN 2 and G002 for VLAN 3. We use separate interface of router which is very expensive solution but this is very cheap solution uh, where we use sub interface of router. So we will start our configuration. First of all we will give the IP to uh, PCs for PC1 which is the part of VLAN 10 192.168.1.2 and its subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 its gateway which is the gateway of this VLAN where we use sub interface and we will create gateway for each VLAN For VLAN 2192.168.2.2 is the 2.2 network and 255.255.255.0 and 192.168.2.1 It's the gateway of this VLAN Any PC belong to VLAN 20 have this gateway 3.2 and 255.255.255.0 and 192.168.3.1 is the gateway of VLAN 30 so we will configure now we have assigned the IP address to the PCs now we will go to the switch and uh, assign this port these ports as the part of VLAN 10 and this port as well part of VLAN 20 and this port as well part of VLAN 30 so now we will go to system view first of all we create vlan vlan batch 10 20 and 30 it's very necessary and now we will go to interface interface uh, ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 2 sorry 3 and uh, port link type is type is axis port uh, default vlan is uh, 10 so now we will go to VLAN uh, I, I I have already uh, the, did this configuration on my uh, previous video so I will go quickly through this video so this configuration I will go to 2 and port link type is access and port default VLAN is 20 now I will go to interface 4 and port link type is link type is access and port default VLAN is 30 okay now I will go to this interface and make this interface as a trunk interface because it's the only one link which is going to router and the, the which carries the data of all VLAN data of VLAN 10 will go through this link and data of VLAN 30 will go to this link so this uh, link should be trunk link so i will make this link as a trunk link so i will go to interface 1 e001 and port link type is port link type is trunk and port oh sorry port trunk allow pass allow pass vlan 10 20 and 30 so this 30 and 30 now we have configured on and now we will go to router the routers configuration how to use the sub interface of router first of all we will go to interface of router internet 0 slash 0 slash 0 slash now we will use the sub interface now we will uh, use the point 10 here we create the sub interface of router 10 you can use any number for any VLAN but I am using 10 
to remember that uh, one zero belong to the VLAN ten and two zero I will create that uh, two zero is belong to VLAN twelve for easiness. You can use any number. You can use uh, zero point hundred for VLAN ten. You zero point five hundred for uh, VLAN twenty. Any number. Or I am using VLAN one point zero for uh, to easy to remember that this uh, interface belong to VLAN ten. And now. I am inside now. I will assign the IP address. IP address to this this VLAN. This VLAN's IP address is one dot one dot one. Now I create the sub interface for this VLAN as zero point one zero and IP address of this gateway. IP address is one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one and twenty four, which is normal IP address. And now I will use dot one Q uh, uh, protocol. dot 1q termination vid 10 for vlan 10 this is the dot 1q termination vid vlan id for 10 we can assign here any number any that's vlan 20 so we will give the ip address of vlan 20 here and write the vlan 20 here and this is the random number you can configure any number so i create now one more thing Uh, if i configure all this uh, all this three vlan like this this will not work because uh, router don't know about uh, 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 it has the sub interfaces so if uh, we will uh, enable this command arp broadcast enable arp broadcast enable this command is necessary to for the router when any data from vlan 10 come to router router will broadcast it to its sub interface this is the command for this to broadcast on sub interface that i have the vlan 10 data uh, it has to go to vlan 30 where is vlan 30 so this command is very necessary to remember if you you will not use this command so uh, you can't uh, ping router will don't know where uh, where the vlan are connected and uh, there will be no response so you can practice it you configure this command and see what happen okay we will go ahead now we will go back uh, enable now we'll go to interface of router quick uh, interface g 0/0/0 zero slash, zero slash zero point 204 vlan 20 now we will get ip address ip address is sorry ip address 192.168.2.1 and 24 and now our broadcast enable our broadcast enable and now we will use uh, termination protocol uh, dot dot 1q termination vid 20 and now we'll use our broadcast enable okay now for vlan 2 we have configured now we will go to vlan uh, on third interface sub interface and ip address is 192.168.3.1 and 24 and now we will use dot 1q termination dot 1q termination vid vid 30 and our broadcast enable our broadcast enable enable okay well, our broadcast is enable now we will ping our pcs now let's see now we have configured the router and all configuration is done now we will ping the pcs so first of all we will ping this pc first of all we ping pcs gateway Uh, yes gateway is pinging now we'll uh, ping the vlan 20 gateway vlan 20 gateway is 2.1 2.1 yes it's pinging now we will ping the vlan 20 pc the pc which belong to vlan 20 2.2 so it's yes it's pinging the first packet is arp packet that i use the command arp broadcast enable to for the router that uh, router should know where the vlan 20 is connected on which sub interface so now i will ping the gateway of uh, vlan 
yes it's pinging and now i will ping the pc of vlan 30 which is the 2 yes for this request this uh, router use r broadcast enable command so that's why uh, for the processing of uh, r broadcast enable command uh, for one packet get lost so now i will ping the pc 30 will and belong to ping 192 168 3.2 yes it's pinging so that's all for today's video for this is the video where we use the router on a stick because we use the sub interface of router uh, uh, took uh, for inter vlan routing uh, where we use many interface of uh, sub we can make uh, a number of interface on one interface sub interface uh, using this interface g001 we can create the number of sub interface and we create many vlan on one link one trunk link so that's it for today's video thank you please subscribe